What is up guys, me luck here and today we are back in action playing some Feed the Beast Departed and uh, yeah, everything's been freaking amazing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go and click the like button. I would really appreciate it and it would help me out a lot. I love your faces forever, uh, more than I already do right now. So the first Feed the Beast Departed video, we got a lot of views and likes and comments. I think we got over 300 likes, over 100 comments. It was freaking amazing. I love you guys. And uh, it was awesome. So I really appreciate it, and uh, it means the world to me. So off camera, I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I killed some of those little tree things, and they gave me some holly top seeds. We might be planting some stuff today. And uh, also, I've been killing some mobs. I I've been getting some copper coins and things like that. I've also been mining a lot. Um, we have a crap ton of uh, limonite, and um, like more than we actually need. Also... I've been looking for Sapphire. Now, Sapphire spawns, uh, I think it's Y level 6 and below, but it's really rare. Like, I found lots of diamonds in the same amount of time that I've only found about 5 Sapphire, and that's at mining at, like, I think it's 6 and below. Um, so, <laughs> it, it, it's pretty hard to find, but this stuff, uh, we have, I guess, 10 because hopefully this doubles it. But if we look up Sapphire right here, let's see, Saf, nope. Uh, how do you how do you spell sapphire? Um, let's see. How much does this do? Six point five hearts. Uh, let's see. Oh, does ha oh wow. The the sapphire itself is really really good. Oh wow. Yeah, the sapphire is freaking awesome. Look at that. Look at this stuff. Seventeen attack damage. Holy crap. That looks cool. Now, what I want with the sapphire is you can actually make it into different. I, I need armor. Uh, but I'm not really sure what I want. I was thinking about making this guy right here, maybe the Clarity, because I have a bunch of Limonite, and I have some Sapphire. Also, uh, Jade's is, is a pretty rare spawn, too, that I found a little bit of it, and you can make Speed, chest plate. I'm not really sure what type of armor to make yet. It's kind of confusing. I might just go ahead and make Iron, then you guys can uh, like comment down below on the best like starter armor I should make. I think that would be pretty sweet. Um, so we're getting some sapphire ore. We have a bunch of limonite. Now what I want to do is I'm going to take the tool station here. Oh, also, uh, we're on a server right now. Uh, Lim, uh, Pyro's guy, uh, who was awesome, by the way, has set up a server for us. So hopefully, I think Isaac said he's going to start recording tomorrow morning. Uh, so by the time this video goes out, he should have already recorded an episode. And, um, Iskall said he might join us. Pyro's going to join us. And I'm not sure about the other guys. That might be it. Um, but it'll still be kind of cool. We're going to have a little spawn town and stuff. Also, this, ser this series is going to stay solo. We might do some collaborations in the future, but it it'll be mostly solo, uh, which I think will be awesome. So I want to make, let's see, I, I got the iron stuff necessary. I I've got a lot of stuff here. Um, I actually, does the translocator deal with liquids? Let's see, translocator... Uh, item and oh yeah liquid translocator so we need limonite mana diamond so we need to start batania and then piston uh, and we can actually use this guy on these right here as a, kind of like a starting an automation thing so that might be something we look into in the future here uh, so yeah let's go ahead and make this guy boom 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 and boom we get a tool forge awesome so we can make a hammer now let's go ahead and look at this guy yeah so we got two plates one tough tool rod and one hammer thing so two plates and then one tough tool rod. I've been making some extra stuff here. Let's see, uh, hammer. And the reason we want the hammer is because it's going to be make mining a lot easier. And this mines, oh wow, it has a lot of durability. It mines, uh, it has a crappy mining speed, that's fine. Also, I have this up to master, skill level master. And it's got me, it's so far as leveling up, I haven't added any modifiers to it. This is just level up modifiers. I've got moss, redstone, and emerald. So that's some pretty good ones. That's pretty sweet. Also, I made a pickaxe and a broadsword. You know what I want to make? I want to make some kind of ranged weapon. So we might make a bow today. Let's see. So we need two bow limbs. I think a lot, because we might want to make a large plate. Make the, the, uh, the long bow or whatever. Let's see. Uh, there it is. Uh, so we need this, a large plate, and two bow limbs. Uh, do I have all the parts necessary for that? Let's see. Do I have bow limbs? I don't think. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and get these guys right there. Boom. So boom and boom. And we're just going to go ahead and get some of this stuff. We're going to make a bow, and it's going to be freaking sweet. Now, I need some string as well. Let's see. String. Where you be, string? And then let's uh, go ahead and do this right here. So we're going to take this stuff out. Boom. And then I need some string, bow string. There we go. I think I only needed one, right? I think that's good. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Boom, boom. And it's, oh, no, I didn't want to click on that. <laughs> also, um, I need to look up information. We might do this this episode if we have time. I want to I want to go to the first dimension sometime soon. It might not be this episode, but I want to go to it sometime soon. I think that would be sick. Uh, so now, hopefully, this actually makes a thing. We have a bow. Yes, look, six attack damage. Awesome. Awesome. How, how, I guess I can't look to see how fast it draws back. Um, I also want to make, uh, let's see, I need some arrows. So for arrows, I need an arrowhead. Do, did I make an arrowhead thing? That's a shuriken. We might want to make some shurikens. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and make an arrowhead here. Uh, boom. There we go. Awesome. And we're getting our full arsenal here. It's going to be pretty sweet once we get all of everything. Also, I made some barrels uh, to store some stuff. We got some redstone and other things so I don't clog up all my chests. Right here is a bunch of plants and crops, which we will plant eventually. Uh, let me grab a stick. Let's see. Where is a stick at? We got a stick. Let's grab some feathers. Let's make some fletchings. Now, these guys, I will not be adding any modifiers to them until they're completely leveled up. Because we get the max amount of modifiers. And as they level up, they get extra attributes by themselves that do not cost modifiers. So, whenever you have uh, Iguana Tweaks, the best thing you can possibly do is to not level anything. Or to not add any modifiers until they're fully leveled. Unless you want to be have beginner tools and make tools later. But, you know, that's just extra mining and stuff you have to do to fully level stuff up. Let's see. Fletching. See, boom. There we go. Okay, so let us make some arrows here. Let's see. How do you make some arrows? Is this? That's a throwing knife. This is an arrow. Let's just go ahead and get this guy. Let's get a tool rod and then a laminate arrowhead. Nice. Okay, so we have an arrow. We have stuff. So this does ten and a half hearts. Not bad. Uh, that's pretty good. And it draws back pretty slow. So we might want to get some redstone on here eventually. Um, or make a short bow. I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm going to I'm gonna go down and mine some more and do some stuff, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is like a day later or so. Um, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera. I've been mining a lot. I've been building. Uh, this is where the base used to be, our little wooden and cobbled piece of crap that we had here. Uh, I've decided to start building a more legit base. I don't know exactly the theme I want to go yet. If you guys have any suggestions, then uh, that would be greatly appreciated. But this is what I have so far. Nothing super special. I've been trying to get a bunch of andesite. Uh, andesite is just like in Minecraft 1.8. It's kind of, you know, if you if you try to use a lot of andesite or, you know, granite or whatever, you always run into problems where you run out of it. That's what I've been doing. I've been just trying to just mine straight andesite and get it uh, that way. Also, you can use the, the chisel to turn andesite into other types of andesite because there's no crafting recipes or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I forget. I think chisel 2 adds, yeah, chisel 2 adds andesite, which is pretty sweet. Um, so what I've been doing besides that is we have this cool little stairwell here uh, We have it kind of like goes out then in and then back out. I think it's a cool little effect I'll probably add maybe another uh, Opposite one like right over here And then we're gonna have like an area underneath I think underneath is gonna be like the chest area and that kind of stuff And then I'll have a way to get a around and down and we're gonna build some like plant farms and stuff like that I think it looks pretty cool uh, Also, I got maybe a total of ten uh, sapphires um, so what I did was without tinkers making sapphire stuff would be so hard luckily tinkers doubles or double ores, so that's pretty good so I figured what we could do is I have a bunch of tinkers part I want to place I was gonna make the bow parts as well but I looked it up in the the sapphire longbow is actually worse than the limonite longbow it draws slower and it does less damage but the arrowheads are better and then the sword is better I think the sword does 17 attack damage versus 10 and then we're going to replace the pickaxe and because it has a higher durability and mining speed. And we're, and we're going to make a shovel and uh, that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see. Where's my stuff at? I just now it was like right over here. Why did I? Oh, I need to get some laminate to actually replace my parts here. Okay. So let us repair our stuff here. Um, I don't think I need to repair everything, but you know, why not? Let's just go ahead and repair everything while we're here. I have a bunch of limonite, so it's not really that big of a deal. So I'm going to replace the tool rod. There we go. So it goes from, let's see what the durability. So the durability is 480. I'm really curious about what the durability changes to. Uh, now, okay, so it's still 480 and it's still 10 attack damage. Now let's replace the sword blade here. Eh. And now it goes to 2,400 durability and 17 attack damage. That's that's pretty awesome. Um, so Sapphire is definitely, I think, the best starting resource you can get. It's just hard to get because it's at Y level 6 and below, and it's really rare. 
Uh, so let's go. Let's go ahead and do the. I think if I do this. Oh wait, does that not? Hmm. Oh yeah, ammo 38 out of 200. Okay, I was like, why didn't that fully repair? Let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Let's repair. So we get a lot more arrows, and the arrows do a lot more damage as well. Uh, so let's see, how much does our bow do now if we have this? So our attack is 12 hearts. I'm not sure what it was before. Uh, boom. Oh wow, this this is gonna take a lot of uh, stuff. <laughs> but 200 arrows will be nice. It kind of sucks we have like no sapphire left, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and replace our pickaxe here. So uh, what's our mining speed before? Our mining speed is 10, durability 600. Uh, let's see, mining speed is 16, durability 3000, and four modifiers remaining. That's pretty sick. Let's see, boom. Let's go ahead and get this, and then we'll get this, and boom, there we go. Awesome. I guess I didn't really need to replace any of the other parts, but you know, why not? Let's just make it fully. Now, I don't have enough sapphire to make a hammer or any of that kind of stuff, so we're going to have to keep the limonite hammers, but I did want to make a shovel, so we do have a shovel, because apparently um, the mattock, I wasn't aware of this. I thought if you upgrade it, it got faster everywhere, but a mattock is only good for dirt. Uh, it doesn't really work well on sand or gravel, so we need like a... A special tool for that also I kind of wanted to make let's see uh, where do I have the parts at uh, let's see I wanted to make a broad axe let's see let's just go ahead and grab this stuff I want to make a broad axe so we have it um, I don't have enough sapphire for it obviously let's just go ahead and get everything that we need and that way we can fell trees in one swoop which is which will be pretty sweet and I can kind of keep this on standby I don't really need that out all the time and the hammer will only be good for like mass mining this guy is gonna be your main dude um I really like that 3000 durability that's pretty sick um let's see now what we need to do is we need to get some kind of slime or something so we can make one of these bow limb slimes so it draws back really fast or we could use a bunch of redstone on it, but I would hate to use redstone before we have a fully leveled up. The only thing I have close to fully leveled up is the pickaxe. The pickaxe is Grandmaster, and I don't even know what the max level is on this. I'm assuming they make it really high because it's kind of like an RPG adventure pack thing. So maybe it goes up to God? I'm not sure. Um, besides that, that's pretty much all I wanted to do with Tinkers today. Now, what we want to do too is I want to make some Tinkers workshops. Let's see, Tinkers... Uh, not Tinkers. What am I thinking? Um, Steve's. Uh, <laughs> Steve's workshops. There we go. So we're probably going to make about five of them. So we need, let's see. So we need stone and wood. Okay, let me grab some stone. Let me grab uh, some woods. Let's see. Where do I have my woods at? There we go. We got a bunch of woods right there. Let's just go ahead and make a bunch of these guys. Uh, boom. Sure, why not? Boom. Sure, why not? We'll make 21 of them. Because I'm sure we'll need them for upgrades and stuff. And this requires wood and cobblestone. Let's see. Let me grab some cobblestone. Let me kill all of these guys. Boom, 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 boom. And these guys will replace our furnace and then maybe even our chest. I, I don't know. It might replace our chest. Let's just go ahead and make some crafting benches. We probably want to make one, two, three, four, and five of these guys. Let's make some more chests. There we go. Eight of these guys. And then let's make some of these guys. So this requires... We have everything we need. So I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five. Awesome. And then I guess for now, I'm just going to stick these like maybe right here. Just temporarily. So these guys, what they do is right now they do absolutely nothing. But if we stick like, let's say, a crafting table and a furnace in them. Now, if we open them up and go back to main, they're now a crafting table and a furnace and you know I actually probably want to switch these upgrades uh, that way uh, let's see let's go back to me so yeah so we got a crafting table and we got a furnace um, and what you can do is you can actually have this do auto crafting you can have this be a chest as well so let me go ahead and go back to upgrades let's say what, what do we oh can I not stick a chest in this wait what oh oh power level okay that gives you power level okay um, so I guess I can just stick some coal in here it's gonna need some coal get a power level and uh, we can actually start smelting some stuff. So if I wanted to smelt, you know, like stone, for example, it has the power level. It's going to use it. It's going to smelt the stone. So it's like more efficient than furnaces and stuff. You can see have like an exact number and that kind of thing. Uh, we can also do upgrades. We have an auto crafter. We have an extra storage upgrade. We have a charger. Uh, we have a production speed. So you can actually increase the speed of like the furnace or whatever. Uh, input queue. So, you know, you can input stuff directly into it. Fuel efficiency, so, you know, like, this amount of fuel with a fuel efficiency upgrade would last longer, which would be pretty cool. Allows lava to be used as fuel, which is pretty good. Solar generator, so we can actually, this might be pretty useful, actually, have a solar generator, then it'd be kind of like free power. 
Let's see, auto transfer, filter, and transfer capacity. Okay, so the first thing, we want to make some, maybe some solar upgrades, and then, let's see, let, what else do we want? Uh, production speed, probably? Let's see, I wonder if this decre like makes it less e efficient with fuel, I don't know. So this requires lapis, redstone, iron, and then what does the, um, the solar things require? Iron, glass, and glowstone. Well, we don't have any glowstone, so we can't make that yet. Uh, where's my lapis at? We'll just go ahead and make some production speeds, I guess. Let's see, so, uh, production speed. This requires a bunch of iron as well. I need to smell all this iron. Let's see, boom, production speed. Where you be? There we go, boom, production speed. You know, we'll make all 15 of those. Um, I'm wasting resources, but it's fine. Okay, so, this is smelting stuff. Let's add some upgrades to this guy. Let's see, uh, one, two, and three. And then let's see how fast this guy is now. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Look at that. That's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so we do have, you know, it might have been overkill to make a bunch of these. You know, maybe three at the max would have been good. Um, I don't know. It's fine. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna go get some Batania flowers, and we need some basic stuff in Batania before we decide to start going to like the Nether and other dimensions and stuff like that. So let me let me get some of that stuff, and I will be right back. Okay. So to get started with Batania, the first thing we're gonna need is a Petal Apothecary, and this guy's gonna be extremely useful because this is pretty much what you need to make like every single one of the flowers. So let's go ahead and make, let's just make everything that we can right now. So I went out and gathered some flowers. I got white, orange, yellow, and light blue because those are the, the four flowers that we'll actually need to get started in Batania. I made some petal apothecaries here. Uh, let's for now, let's just set these guys one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's set them right there. Let's go ahead and fill them up with water. Now, water is going to you have to fill these guys up with water. And this is how you make all your flowers. Every single flower in Batania is made using the petal apothecary, so it's quite useful. Also, as you see, I built this little dirt platform down here. I'm probably going to expand it and maybe plant all my gardens and plants and stuff on it. Or maybe this side will be Batania and that side will be like plants and stuff. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. So we want to go ahead and make um, pure daisies. Pure daisies is how we start giving, getting living wood and living rock. Um, so let's just do, let's see, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Uh, too bad I didn't have some more, but that's fine. Two of these guys will be plenty. So let's go ahead and get two pure daisies. Awesome. And then I'm going to set these guys like right there and then right there. So let me go grab some stone and let me grab some wood and we should be good. Let's see. Let's go ahead and see. Do I, do I have um, things and stuff? Let's see. Yeah, I got one stack of that guy and then I need some wood. Where's my wood? I need to really make like a chest area um, <laughs> eventually. Yeah, I need a for sure, 100%. I need to make a chest area. But what you gotta do is just stick these guys like right here, and eventually they'll transform into living wood and living rock. And uh, yeah, that's pretty sick. Now another thing I need is I actually need a book so I can make the Lexica Batania, so I can start like looking at how to make everything. But for now, this is fine. Now the first thing we probably want to make is a mana pool. Now a mana pool. Let's see. Let's see. Mana pool. A mana pool is pretty easy. All you gotta do is get uh, five living rock, and then it makes a diluted mana pool. And then you have to throw, once the diluted mana pool gets a little bit of mana, you throw another diluted in there and it turns into a normal mana pool. The way we're going to generate mana is we're going to need something called a mana spreader. Uh, now, I don't have, actually I don't have the gold at all. I don't think I have any gold right now. Um, so, but we're going to need one mana spreader and then we're going to have to make a bunch of day blooms. So we might be able to go ahead and make some day blooms right now. It just requires yellow, orange, and blue. So let's just go and turn all of these guys into stuff. Uh, boom, boom, boom. And then let me do some of this action. And then, yeah, there we go. So let's go ahead and make all these into day blooms. So two yellow and then one of everything else. So let's, uh, let me orient orientate this so we have enough stuff. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and put one of my buckets right there. Let's fill these guys back up. There we go. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two day blooms, three day blooms. Yep, look at this. Awesome. So, uh, is this guy transforming? Yeah, yeah, look at this. Living wood and living rock. Awesome. So, I'm going to go ahead and start harvesting this guy. And this, this doing this stuff right here is actually a pretty easy way to level up like your pickaxe and uh, other stuff that you have. Uh, because 
it, it just it's just really convenient because you're doing this all the time because you need so much living rock and living wood to get everything um, um, <laughs> also I'm sorry if some of you guys are tired of seeing me do Batania but I feel like in Batania or in this pack Batania is hundred percent necessary in other packs it might not be necessary but in this we're gonna need some of the features of Batania to actually help us live so yeah uh, that's gonna be things so let me let me grind up this stuff a little bit and let me get everything I need like some gold and stuff and I will be right back okay we're back so I'm gonna go ahead and make a mana spreader here boom and of course this didn't work we just need one mana spreader for now and let me grab these day blooms they see I brought a little crafting station down and just been doing some general maintenance here Let's see so we got six day blooms that should be fine for now all I really want is just a little tiny bit of mana Let's see, so we got a diluted mana pool. We want a second one. There we go. And then, yeah, that's probably good for now. Let's go ahead and set up our mana stuff over here. Um, how do we want to do this? I guess I'll just stick this, like, right there, sure. And then I'm going to stick a mana spreader right there. Boom. Awesome. And then now we need to make a little wand. So we need to make a little batani wand. So we need, let's see, two, three of these guys. Boom. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, whoa, get out of here, man. Get out of here, man. Woo, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, where did my little sticks go? Where? Oh, they're right here. Uh, of course they are. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so let's uh, let's make a little wand. It's just uh, this little recipe right there. Boom, boom, there we go. We got a wand of the forest. Awesome. So let's uh, direct this guy. Oh, I need to turn this into function. Er, yep, bind mode. Boom. Boom, it's pointing straight down, and then we're going to set up some day blooms. So the way you set up day blooms and night blooms is you put them in a checkered pattern because they can actually interfere with each other's mana, and they're inefficient if they uh, do interfere. So there we go. We Once it gets daytime and these guys get to see a little bit of day, day shine, uh, sunshine, um, they'll start generating mana and doing that, all that kind of cool stuff. And what they do is they automatically lock onto this mana spreader so the mana gets teleported to here. And then this guy shoots it down the mana pool. And what the mana pool does is just stores large amounts of mana. Now, the diluted one doesn't store that much. Uh, but once we get a little bit of mana, you'll see that we'll, we'll actually see a render in here here in a second. Maybe next time we'll go ahead and get into making the altar and the runes and we'll make both of those, hopefully. Um, I forget how you make them. I think the sash is pretty easy. Let's look up the sash real quick. The sash is just a rune of earth and a rune of air. That's pretty easy. And then let's look up the pendant. Uh, is this guy it? Yeah, the pirate class pendant. It's just a rune of summer and a rune of fire. So the rune of summer is actually a second tier rune. Uh, there's three tiers of runes. And uh, the elements are first, so like fire, water, that kind of stuff. And they turn into the seasons, which is the second tier. So like summer, autumn, winter, that kind of stuff. And then those turn into the third tier runes, which are like gluttony, pride, stuff like that, like the, the sins. Um, so yeah, this isn't actually that bad. We just need a melon, a slime ball, and two pieces of sand. So we'll work on that next episode. Oh, and look, look, we already have some mana. Nice. Uh, can we turn this into a thing yet? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Let me go ahead and get rid of this guy then. Let me put this guy down. And this will be storing mana for us over time. Awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go and click the like button. It would really help me out. I'd really appreciate it. I love your all's faces. And I'll see you guys in the next Feed the Beast Departed.